There we are, there's St Andrew's Church and there's the flag. It's either Compton Bishop or Bishop Compton. I'm going down there in a minute to have some lunch. I've not approached it from this side coming down like this before. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to end up on the same track eventually but I've not actually explored doing it from this angle. So it's always nice to do something slightly different. And then from here, look, you've got the views of Axbridge over there, Axbridge Reservoir, right in the very distance, which I won't concentrate on too long because of the lens of the camera. You've got um, Glastonbury Tour, of course. Of course, a month's time, Glastonbury will be getting ready for... It'll be getting ready for... Um, the festival. So what we'll do, we're going to slope down here. I can see a path right down there. It's nice to actually do a different track. I think I've been on that track once when I came up with a friend called Roy and we parked further over there. Then we had to walk up. But we didn't go down there. Obviously that's lovely down there, isn't it? Let's just zoom in again to the church. My cousin Barbara were like this because there's Hells and Wookies in there, and she's related to Hells and Wookies, but I've still got to work out the connection yet. There's also Hells at Loxton, which is the other side of Crook's Peak, and we usually stop off at that church as well. In fact, there's quite a few. There's um, Winscombe, St Andrews, Loxton, and Blagden. Bleeden, I mean. Bleeden have all got churches en route back I mean how I'm feeling at the moment it shouldn't be a time issue but it can be with buses because once you get back to uphill you think oh I don't want to walk all the way up the beach there's a little track down there I'm just heading for that just down there And in front of me, of course, is Crook's Peak. It's Crook's Peak. There's some people that were walking near me earlier. They had a seat on a special... There's a special little stone seat up there that somebody had done for them when they passed away and uh, it's got a nice little sort of poem on it as well so somebody loved that spot I think it was damaged at one point and um, it was damaged and then uh, it might be repaired but of course I've there was someone sat on it. I decided to explore and come down a different way. Even after all these years, I'm still finding other routes. And this seems quite a nice way. Rather than going all around there and then down that way, I'm going to join up with this path that should probably take me down there somewhere in a minute. And then I, after when I come out of there, I will go up a path on the edge of that field there and then climb up to the peak after I've done the church down there. Of course, I'm hoping that this path isn't going to take me back up the hill. You could have shot yourself in the foot here, Shell. I'm hoping it links up with a path that will take me down there. That's plan A. Because I know there is a path. So it'll probably join up with it in a minute. You know, like I said, though, it's still all part of exploring. Right, I'm going to turn off for a minute. Right. I've just made a... 
thinking I was clever, I thought I'd walk down and I, I was following some animals' pathways, like this in a way. I thought, oh, that'd be all right. But I hit a real big obstacle, lots and lots of gorse and thick brambles and shrubs. And there was no way through. Now, it was very, very steep. It was going right the way. I got right the way down through stuff like that. But I couldn't go any further. It really was like yards and meters and meters and meters of nothing, no pathway. I would have been scratched a bit, so I've probably already got bitten by a lo load of spiders. I thought I was being clever. I had done, I was doing really well. And then I thought, well, I hadn't been over the, that particular side for a while. And I was doing really well. I was following this little path. Now, animals can creep on, in the undergrowth, right? Uh, now, I had to climb literally up up and up and up through brambles all sorts of adder country everything and I was nearly in tears because I you know I was so close to the church I was held back I was thought I, I'd be able to get onto this path down there I'll be very annoyed if I see a path in a minute when I get further down I was so close I and mean, it's probably put half an hour to an hour on my time now. <sighs> I mean, it was all right. I was going down. Probably half an hour, I would say. Although if you add this bit on now, yeah, it could be an hour. Could be an hour. So which makes a difference in whether I'm going to walk back to Western or not. It makes a difference, that hour, you see. And I got, of course, the other thing is I've been keeping calm. On all the walks so far, I'd, I've been really good. I've been keeping calm, not having to exert in this heat. This is midday. And I had to walk up with the heat. I didn't even bring my hat, I forgot. Well, I'm, I'm just trying to calm down now, but this is what can happen when you're out. I mean, I've done this path loads of times. I know this track. I just thought I'd seen, I'd been following the path for ages and it was okay until I started to go down. Now basically what happened was there was probably a path there once but it's grown over. <sighs> it's full of spider's webs. Oh Christ, that's what's bitten me when I've, I won't know till later. You don't know at the time. <sighs> and uh, it was thick gorse. Very prickly, like all this stuff, but loads of it. So I'm recording this so that you can see what sort of adventures I get up to. A few swear words were let out earlier, but not on video. Because I got all the way down, nearly touching this path, except for a mass. Like, imagine having to walk through loads and loads of this. Loads of it. It's like saying, right, go through there. That's what it was like. It has upset me because it set me back. That's me being too bloody clever. And I'm calming down a bit now, but I'm recording it. Because it's not all um, easy going when you're out. You take a wrong turn in, you, you walk miles and then you realise. It's like yesterday. It was alright though when I went to um, Stuart Marshes. Over near Cannington and all over that way. And um, Cummidge. Uh... I went al along what's known as the breach, but I blame it on them really, the reserve people, because they never said, though they probably said, well, you should have had a map. If I'd had that map, I would have realised, but I didn't. It was like um, the breach is on both sides of a, a mouth of the river Parra, so you can't get across. But I didn't know that at the time. I thought I'd be able to do a circular walk. But if I had gone, if I hadn't taken that turning and gone the other way towards the heights and got myself the map, I would have realised. But of course, you know, I'm glad I did that though, because a lot of people don't bother doing the breach because they know they've got to walk back. It's not a, you can't do a circular. And the marshes are actually got cows, big cows on them. The cows must know when the tide's coming in to get out of the way, I suppose. 
God, if I start getting lots of bites now on my back and all that on now, I've just been through spider country, big time. Yeah, if I get if I get when I get home tonight and I'm covered in bites, I'll know where it's from because I, I can already feel things around my ankles now. I never tuck my I deliberately didn't tuck my trousers in my socks so that the air would circulate rather than trapping my legs. But of course, once you do that, you know what that means, don't you? It's a way up for the bloody insects. Right, over and out.